Time now to get a check of our Saturday weather. How are we looking this morning, Jennifer? Uh, well, Steve, you know what? It's been a nice start, but showers are already entering parts of the Keys. We'll get to the radar in just a second. Temperatures are in the low 80s, basically similar all across the area. It's either 80 degrees or 81. Now the breeze picking up speed around 14 miles per hour in Fort Lauderdale, close uh, to that as well in Key West uh, with the wind direction out of the east. Notice the sky cover. Well, it is now gloomy out there as there are showers and storms. In fact, you could even see the rain shaft in the distance there. So it was a beautiful sunrise for you in Key West, but I'm sorry, the sun didn't last so long. Now these showers are going to be moving in from the Florida Straits uh, and then wrapping around towards the northwest and then out wrapping again down to the south. And that clockwise motion is associated with the tropical disturbance in the Caribbean Sea. So notice the heavy downpours developing over the Florida Straits, and these are going to be holding together. So this is going to eventually be an impact for the rest of the Keys as well. Close up in Key West, well, that shower just clipping you. So you probably have just some one or two drizzles, but the heavier rain staying offshore. Here's a look at future weather. Notice uh, that for Miami-Dade, it is possible that by late morning or noontime, we'll have some spotty showers and thunderstorms. But as we work our way through the rest of today, it does become more scattered, especially overnight tonight by 3 a.m. Looks like heavy downpours hitting the Keys and along the coast in Miami-Dade, then by tomorrow becoming stormy once again. Total rainfall forecast ranging anywhere between a quarter of an inch to up to two inches, but heavier pockets in localized areas could be anywhere between three to four inches out there, maybe even higher than that for the key. So flood watch remains in effect through tomorrow evening. And it's all due to this tropical disturbance, which has a very good chance for formation in the next two days. So we could be talking about a tropical depression. Now there is no center yet located. This is a broad area of low pressure. So once we find out where that center could be, if it does have a center of circulation, the models will react to that and forecast a more accurate track. Now this right here is a comparison of the GFS model and the European, which is an agreement that it's going into the Gulf of Mexico. So even if regardless if it develops, we're still going to get rain on the eastern side of the system. But look at these spaghetti models I want to show you. They're starting to become more in agreement, just uh, like the Euro and the GFS, that this system will be moving into the Gulf of Mexico.